dawn of creation, the gods arrived on Earth. Now we shall know their awful legacy and how it affects mankind. When Sho and his friends went to Mount Minakami to rescue Mizuki and Sho's father, they were attacked by the lost unit, the experimental troops. Although Sho defeated the lost unit with the help of Murakami, he passed out due to exhaustion. Everyone hid at Makashima's secret hideaway and waited for Sho to regain his energy. In the middle of the night, Sho went on his own to complete the rescue when he was met by Gaiva III. Mr. Fukumachi, what happened? I'm okay, I suppose. They didn't really try to hurt me, but I'm just so exhausted. What have you done? What's happened, Tetsuro? Huh? He, he's left. He's gone without me. How could he? It's my fault. He probably slipped out the window while I was dozing and is miles away by now. Grandfather! Huh? Agito left this message. Hmm. Perhaps this explains. Fukamachi and I are going to the mountain. Don't worry. Agito. That's nuts. Let me see the message. Makashima must be planning something because he knows Sho hasn't had the time to rest from his last encounter. Besides, if it was Makashima's idea for us to wait for him here, why is he taking Sho directly into a Kronos trap? I believe Sho's determination must have influenced Makashima. Perhaps he knows just how important this mission is to him. He feels it's his duty to rescue his father and your sister. Since we're powerless at this time, I'm glad at least that Makashima is with him. All we can do is trust them and wait. Maybe so. It's been almost a day, and Mr. Fukumachi has been sleeping as if he were dead. Mm. Uh, Sho, son, where are we? Oh, I remember now. They took me from this cell, and then they brought me back. What happened? 
You said they didn't hurt you, but what did they do to you out there? I... I can't remember. Remember. Oh, my head. It's okay. Calm down. You're early. There's still time before the end of our shift. These must be important prisoners. Everything will be fine. You should give yourself time to recover. We can always hope for the best. Thanks. Thanks, Mizuki. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Mizuki, father, I've come to get you out of here. Sho, I can't believe it's you. Sho! <laughs> Everything's all right now, Mizuki. I'm here. Dad, I'm sorry you had to wait so long. It's okay. Hmm. Coming. We mustn't waste any more time here. Mr. Makashima? Hurry, come on. Prepare for battle! It seems an intruder has entered the base, sir. Let us allow Agito Makashima to deal with the intrusion. It may prove to be an interesting confrontation. Doctor, Agito Makashima is not within the perimeters of the base at the moment. Why is that? When I spoke to him last night, he said he was going to help the troops, and he left the compound to join up with them. Hmm. Agito is a candidate for a very high position. He should know not to tackle things by himself. Dr. Belkis! Hmm. The intruders have helped the prisoners escape! Our hostages. We've increased security, but something unexpected like this? We're doing our best to locate them, sir. No pursuit. What? Even you should recognize the evidence of a Geyser incursion. Ah, Geyser. No problem. Don't have your men engage them until they have taken the hostages outside the base perimeter. Ah! Sir! As you wish! I will show you costumed amateurs what it truly means to suffer. <laughs> Dad! Is something wrong? No. Kronos, they're coming! Shit. Shit, they've come! Diver, we'll have to take them all on. Right. Mizuki, take my father and stay somewhere behind us where it's safe. Okay. Let's kick some ass. Diver! Yeah! Hey, are you okay? I am... 
just confused. There's no escape for you this time. <laughs> What's happening to me? Zornoid! As I thought, you're not my father! Yes, I am! Yes, I am your father! Show! Those eyes! Those are Dad's eyes! I know it's him! Father! Hear me and awaken. Awake, Enzyme 2. What's wrong, Mr. Murakami? We've got a zoonoid around here. We have to get out of here! We have to! If I'm not back in 30 minutes, leave this place. I'm going after our uninvited guest to see what can be done about the problem. Meantime, no heroics. But, but, but wait, wait! How could he possibly know about a zoonoid approaching without being able to see them or hear them? Where is Mr. Murakami gone running off to in such a hurry? Do you have any idea, Tetsuro? I'm not sure. Stop it, Dad! It's no use. Someone is controlling him. Controlling Enzyme! <laughs> Exactly as I had it planned. He cannot defend himself against Enzyme. Dr. Balkus, I have arranged for the special freezing mixture just as you ordered. Everything is as planned. Now we only need to remove the control metal and freeze it.
I do it, we'll kill him for sure. Him in time to crush his skull into pieces. Stop. Don't go near him. Stay right there. Stop. Huh? What? No. That thing is Fumio Fukamachi. <laughs> Who the hell is interfering with my telepathy? It's him meddling again. Damn it, I don't know who he is. But there's no way an insignificant piece of filth like him can hope to block my telepathic power. Oh, what strong telepathy. I can't hold it back! Now, Enzyme 2, crush Diver's skull! <coughs> no! You have done well, Enzyme 2. Fumio Fukamachi. Father! Show's dead! Rip the control metal from what is left of your son's head. Must not allow Kranos to get the control metal. Stop! It's no use. I can't stop it. If the Guider's control metal falls into Kronos' hands. Enzyme 2, what are you doing? Carry out my orders. What? Son! No! Enzyme 2, hurry up and remove the control metal and bring it here to me! is alive. Impossible. Without a brain? There is more to this than even I understand. Incredible. The Giver is still functioning, but his brain is destroyed. It must be the Giver's own consciousness. Show? Tetsuro. Mr. Murakami. Mizuki, what's wrong with her? Uh, I saw him. I saw him. Saw him what? I saw what happened to Sho Fukumachi. <laughs> Sho, stop! Stop it! You can't kill your own father! Damn! You mean that thing? 
is Sho's father? telling him anything. Sho's father's being controlled by a strong telepathy and Sho... that is no longer your friend. I can't understand. Just take a look at what's happened to his brain. <laughs> Guyver seems to be able to repair the damage. But unfortunately, for some time, we cannot expect the same kind of behavior as a normal human. Does that mean that Sho is no longer in control of himself? If the possessor of the control metal can't recover, the bio-booster armor will probably shift into a self-defense mode. In this way, the control metal will protect the unconscious possessor's life automatically. But it can't distinguish between an enemy and a friend. The Giver isn't show. It'll destroy anything that stands in its path. It's just a cold-blooded warrior, mindless and ruthless, defending its existence. Stop! Don't do it! Stop it! So, he's won, by killing the father who loved him. And you loved him too, Sho. Your brain has been restored, and after a while, your consciousness may return. But then how will we explain to you what you've done? What the Giver has done to you, to me, to all you love, and all who love you.